and, yeah, you should and have two, gone down like this. when you start going down these rabbit holes, then you start like then you you, you just start looking for more things. You just start picking yeah, at yeah. everything, and so like it leads you to like, dude, I like when I go and I look up stuff online, I'll see some absurdly crazy theories that are so loosely connected. Where it's like, well, this is what. Having so many hidden clues in the book, this is what this leads to. It leads to just massive yeah. conspiracy theories where like, people are just say, you know, any any thread they can pull on, they pull on one thread and they just unravel the shirt. But, it you know, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I think what Not you got to try to do. Comes out. Yeah. And, and, and also, like, but what you got to do when you're looking for these theories, like the big things are, are, is there evidence for the theory? It's not just pure speculation. Is there evidence for it? And then also, if that's true, what would that imply? And do those implications make any kind of sense? I think those are like the also, first two do they things contradict? you have to look at. Yeah. I think that the, one of the main things that you helped me out with, Dan, is where does my little things that I have evidence for, I might have seen this, and so I say, but but it contradicts somewhere else. I think that's a real important uh, important point to what Rothfuss does. Uh, he, yeah, he, that's he when lets you're you on, to... but but you got to see where the contradictions are. Well, there yeah. has to be sensibility yeah, when... also to why, like what does that entail? What does that imply? And is that payoff something that makes sense to the overall arching the arching story itself? And if yeah, it doesn't, like if you come up with a theory, he be, he's not just going to be reckless and throw stuff in just for the fun of it. Yeah, exactly. Like right. if you come up with a theory and then you're like, "Well, that would imply X," and then the implication is, and that means Kavoth has six fingers, and, and then it'd be like, "Well, okay." And why would Rothfuss? What? 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 Why? And it's like you know, Rothfuss is a really good writer. If the implication leads you to some weirdo, absurd thing, it's probably not. Probably not the right guess because Rothfuss didn't write in something that's going to be like, you're going to get to it at the end. You're going to be like, well, who gives a shit about that? That's stupid. <laughs> like if, yeah, exactly. if the implication leads you to something where you're like, well, that's stupid. He probably did. It's probably not what he did. Well, speaking of that, I'll just throw this out there for everybody to chew on. You could take it one way or the other. I guess we have I'll to take it the one. other. Every take it the other immediately. Okay. But, Here's the thing, guys. Everybody at the Waystone Inn is dead. Coat, Bast, they're all dead. They're all corpses. That's my theory. You, you, you consider the implications. I'm taking it the other. <laughs> consider I, if, the implications. If he went down the uh, the lost path, after, especially after like Unlost, when they're like, it's not going to be like they're all dead at the end. Shit. And then they finish it, and they're like, well, they were all dead in the end. Well, yeah. it could be a it's totally like, well, different dimension. Dicks. It's Shyamalan, Sham, uh, M. Night, Rothfuss. Yeah. Chew on it. Chew on it, audience. Don't listen to these guys right off. Chew it was on all a dream. While. Just do that. It, it makes sense. Dream. It makes sense. Yeah, it's like, it's like the, uh, Co- instead, the flu. Uh, you know, like with M. Night Shyamalan and, and that uh, Sixth Sense, and he, except for instead of um, him being actually dead, he's just like a, a pedophile and he's just trying to worm his way into this kid's it's little all, kid's life. It's all a dream. And that's it. it that's it, the big twist. Book three is just going <laughs> to be like a highlight clip it's like, show. what? <laughs> the, end, the end of book three, it's just going to be Kavoth wakes up. His mother and father are right there, and he had a fever, and this was all. Oh, him. that'd be so great! Or even better, I got I even got I got a better one for be uh, so Six Sense. It's it's the kid finds out that this guy is actually a uh, a football uh, coach, and he's just trying to warm his way into this kid's life because he wants to recruit him to go and play in his football team. He sees some real potential in the kid, and that's the big twist ending. <laughs> is that he wasn't there for any of the other reasons to help him. F- save dead people to to figure out why he sees dead people he was there to recruit him to play football see, for him you know I what see i see that. real potential dan i like I that real theory. potential on you now you're scrawny as shit but you're quick yeah. you have good yeah. instincts yeah and i think you're gonna you see, see things <laughs> you would be a great quarterback like you see things that are, no one else can see like you could be able to read the football field really well with this pa- with this power you have 
What, is, what an awful application. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this dude's ability. You're like, you know what? You'd be really good at this thing I'm really interested in. Yeah. I think you'd be really Fucking good at ham fistedly shoving yeah. shoving like, in your own own things hey, into look, this kid. Look, kid, I own this landscaping company and that is what you're meant to do. You are I wanna, going to I want to be, be like the you're M. Gonna Night be an Shyamalan of front lawns. Oh, I want to become like an M Night Shyamalan, but I I my, all my twist endings are like just super mundane. Fucking super lame. <laughs> He's got the lamest twist ending. Like, you didn't see it coming. It's definitely a twist ending. Did not see it coming. Super lame you payoff. You make it the same ending. Very lame every payoff. Time. Every time, everybody's dead. Yeah. It's a football coach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> the most obscure ways to get there, every, but at the end, it's going to be the same. Every, every, every time, it's a dead football coach trying to recruit you for Jesus his team in the Christ. afterlife. It's so absurd. It's so absurd. We're going to get in there. We're yeah, going to go so. inside and outside. We're going to go inside. That's like, yeah. yeah. Is that a ghost? <laughs> yeah. That, that, that Actually, that's perfect. It ends with like the cheesiest, most stereotypical coach <laughs> speech in the locker room. He's standing on a stool. It's literally like Rudy. <laughs> like, and he just does it's it Newt, every Newt Rockney, single time. Every time it's Newt Rockney. <laughs> The dead guy is no, Newt Rockney every, every, every time. time he and it, and you have the same actor playing him every time. So every time you have the same person playing the same exact role in every movie, and you still try to shove it in as a twist ending. Like, bet you didn't see it. I know you thought, you know, all right, he's done it three times. He's not going to do it a fourth time. But I did. <laughs> no, but but make it worse, and and so every time is is at the, at Actually, the end, it's Mora going. Going to the guys playoffs. Yeah. I just want to win a game. You guys can't even win a game, dude. Honestly, I'm starting to get pretty sold on this. I, yeah. I kind of love the idea, but like the fourth movie, <laughs> it's literally like yes. The whole audience is cheering. Yeah, they're all standing. Everybody up, gets behind nuts. it. Like, oh, he, he's not going to do it again. He, no way he's doing it again. <laughs> like, I hey, know it's the same actor, but no way he's doing the same exact <laughs> ending. And he did it again. It's just the the extended Conway Twitty Grand Old Opry. No way. How could he have made a just, remake of Romeo and just, Juliet and ended up with Mora trying to win a basically, playoff? Trying to get in the basically playoffs. Basically, like you're like if Andy Kaufman was M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> like, yeah, pretty much. Just fucking trolling this shit no, out of the audience. But seriously, guys, they're all dead. Let's let's get back to it. They're all yeah. dead. Of you, this is where it all came to. Yeah, I love how your your what you your idea became what would be like the cheesiest way to end movies ever. It was literally like yeah. Dan yeah. became like we're all just gonna troll everything because your shitty idea, your theory yeah. is so yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's got merit. So how do we troll the <laughs> entire King it. Killer audience? Merit. They're all dead. It's got merit. It may, yeah, they, everybody's dead. There may, I'm gonna, there I'm, may I'm not gonna be do evidence, what but you know what, what people evidence. with writer, writer's block do to solve their problems. Well, this is what yeah I was gonna say. This is what we just said. If the end result ends up being lame, uh, maybe you know maybe give Rothos better credit the credit than that. I feel like he could make but them all be dead. Uh, great. Yeah, I think it's lame yeah. as shit. So how about that? Uh, you're. I, I whatever you think, Tim. Whatever you think is gold, huh? Great comeback. That was fantastic. That comeback. Yeah, that stumbling him. bullshit. Fucking smacked him in the face so hard right there. <laughs> well, just, but you, you, just, you don't know. You don't Tim know. knows deadly. <laughs> Tim knows deadly. No, uh. <laughs> no, you are. That's not what I said. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Thank you.